Well, Lisa, this was a disturbing admission tonight in court from a woman accused in a deadly crash in Brockton. Police say she told them that she had been drinking and was texting her drug dealer when she crashed. That crash involved two cars and this dump truck that you see here. It turns out the driver was stopped by a police officer a short time before the crash. WBZ's Bill Shields has the story tonight from Brockton. 33-year-old Danielle Mastro. Police say she killed the mother of a police officer when her car rear-ended another. And why did it happen? Mastro told police she was texting and driving. She was texting her drug dealer. She stated that she was dope sick and she was uh, trying to buy narcotics. Um, she admitted to not having a license to drive a motor vehicle that had been suspended or revoked. The woman who died was 58-year-old Deborah Combra, a state mental health worker. Her car was hit so hard, it ran into a dump truck that flipped over. Mastro left the scene to buy heroin, but was caught a block away by Brockton police. She's a significant risk to public safety. You know, if we have an individual out there who puts her own needs ahead of other people's safety on the public way, is incredibly dangerous. The distraught family of Deborah Combra left court in tears. Respect our privacy. You bet. We just yeah. lost so much. Yeah, I'm sorry. 15 minutes before the crash in Brockton, right here in Hanson, Mastro was pulled over by a police officer for a minor infraction. But Mastro took off. Yet the police officer did not give chase because the schools had just let out and the roads were busy. The schools were getting out. It was a civil motor vehicle infraction. Obviously, nobody has a crystal ball. Couldn't see what was going to happen. Before the accident that killed a mental health worker, Danielle Mastro was trying to buy heroin and told police she had already consumed six nips of vodka. In Brockton, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.